Herbs, I mean, ideally, it's our plants. Whether they are growing on the soil, whether they are growing on a rock like Mfanchi Muka Resurrection Bush, or if, whether they are growing, growing in water. Like we've got some water plants like uh, water lily, which is um, hapa or garadziva. They are herbs. So any part of a plant, be it leaves, flowers, stems, uh, seeds, which are used to prevent or to treat diseases, they can be used to flavor food, like our good chili. Yes, it is a spice, but it's also very good for sick blood circulation. And we can, we can also have the aroma of, 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 of herbs being used to, 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 to treat people. Hence, we find people uh, using some herbs to steam. You're not eating it, you're just steaming. So it's the aroma that is you, you're using. So basically, a plant is, a herb is any part of a plant that is used for health, seasoning food, uh, aromatherapy, even bathing as well, which is also a good part of health. We, we, we've always had our herbs. I'll, I'll, I'll come to some good examples on that. But if you look at uh, India, <coughs> what they did is they did some writing, okay, as far back as 3000 BC, and called it Ayurveda, and they've kept it. Also China, this Chinese, Chinese uh, traditional Chinese medicine, okay, they've also um, did their writing as far back as 2700 BC. Even the Egyptians, there's the medical papyri, which dates back to 1800 BC. Even the Roman, and uh, it was called, called Roman de Materia Medica, which is 70 AD, okay. Ours, unfortunately, I strongly feel the ease where our people wrote, because there is cave paintings, but most people can't read those. What we're taught to read is not what was written by our ancestors. Because if you look back at people coming from a funeral, from the graveside, they would have a dish where everyone would what? Would wash hands. Say 100 people, or so a, a X amount of people. They would wash their hands. Apparently, it was to disfetize their hands, because our custom is to greet each other. Tibati maoko, tibati maoko. And I don't know how many people you cross, crisscross, crisscross, cross, even those who are passing by. But you not, you would not get cholera outbreak from that. So, but apparently it wasn't written. So today, some people find it a mystery. Why is that happening? Maybe we, we, we're distancing ourselves from the spirit of the dead, you know. But it is, it, it, it is there. So, some, somehow it is there. Now it is only left in oral tradition. But it is there. I'll show you one book where it was actually then written. But it was then the white man who was asking people at a red, uh, a red hospital then, 1971 up to 1985, when the book was written down, but it's not easily accessible. Where people would say, we used this for that, we used this for this, and it was all written. So we have our, 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 our herbs per se. Say if you go on Matthew 2, 11, uh, we see Jesus born. He was born in a manger. That's where a sheep would stay. It's not a clean place. So the three wise men came and they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Right? Gold is money, right? It's wealth. Frankincense and myrrh, they are herbs. And the herbs that baby Jesus would need in his mother, Mary, was something to treat the umbilical cord. Definitely, with, with you know, within 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 a, 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 the, the space where they are, the way it's not very hygienic. So they needed something like, like that. Then, if you also look at uh, two Kings twenty, King King James version, and I and Isaiah said, take a lamp of figs, and they took and laid it on the boil, and he recovered. Right. Also, when it come to Ezekiel forty seven twelve, uh, also new, uh, new King James version. It also says, along the bank of the river, on this side and that, will grow all kinds of trees used for food. Their leaves will not wither, and their fruit will not fail. There will be a fruit every month because their water flows from the sanctuary. Their fruit will be for food and their leaves for medicine. I'm sure it's as clear as it sounds. So we have the, 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 the hymns mentioned in the Bible. There's also some individual like garlic, aloe, isop. You know, there's so, there's so many herbs uh, mentioned in, in the Bible. And I'm sure by then everyone would know or agree with me. There were no pills. <laughs> there were no injections. 
So Ibs was the medicine of the day. <laughs>